Hello guys, welcome back to the episode, and this one we're going to talk about an issue that you guys may have with a lot of indie games out there. And it doesn't matter if you got the game on Steam, or if you got it online somewhere, or if it's a free indie game you got. It's still going to be the same issue. So, the issue I'm talking about is that when you have an indie game and you want to play it online with people, either it's, you know, random people you want to play with, or you want friends to play with you, or you want to join friends, it's going to give you the same error message, which is going to be, could not connect to host, or something like that. And this error message is super annoying because, actually, let me give you guys an example. I was playing online with my friend. Actually, I was going to play online with my friend last night. And we sat from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the morning trying to get a game called White Noise Online to work. This is a Steam game. And even though you have it inside Steam, and when you open the game up, Steam says, you know, it has a little button down the corner that says join friends or invite friends or something like that. It will not let you do it. It's still going to give you the same error message, even though it's a Steam game. Now, the the solution to actually playing with each other in indie games like this is that you need to do something called port forwarding. And don't start panicking. Don't click away from this video. I know you've heard this before. I know people on Google and YouTube tells you, oh, you need to port forward. Well, port forwarding, I have yet not found a single step-by-step for idiots tutorial on how to do this. And trust me, I needed a idiot step-by-step tutorial on how to port forward because it seems like people on the internet expect you to know how to port forward as a default. I did not know how to do this. So I did actually get a solution to it and I did have, well, my friend had a friend help her out fixing this issue and now we can actually play with each other and she showed me how to do this. So I'm gonna show you guys now step-by-step how to fix this issue. So. Without any more stalling, let's go ahead and get started here. First thing you're gonna have to do is actually go down to control panel. Now again, if you're on a Mac, I'm not quite sure how you're gonna fix this, but I know for PC users, this is the way to do it. So inside the control panel, you're gonna go to your network and internet settings. You're gonna go to network and sharing center. And inside here, you should have, well, your basic network information to set up connections. And underneath here, you should have your active networks. Now, in my case, I have two because I have Hamachi installed on my computer, you guys will probably just have one, which is you know either a wireless network or a ethernet cable network. Um, now on the right side of your network, you're gonna get access type, home group, and connections. Now again, because I have an ethernet cable, mine is gonna say local area connection next to my connections you know, description here. You guys may have something else if you have wireless, but you're gonna go ahead and click on this link that is next to it. Now you're gonna get this little window here. And actually, before we get started here, the reason we're doing this, just so you guys know, is because we need some information from our router, which we're accessing right now, in order to actually post forward. We need to get to the place where we need to post forward, and we need the information from in here to do that, okay? So inside here, we're gonna click on details. And inside here, I'm actually gonna black some of this out for you guys, because I do not want you guys to know my, my personal information, but inside here, you're gonna get a long list of stuff, right? And one of them is gonna be called IPv4 address. And it's gonna give you guys this long number with dots between them, or like, you know, punctuations between them. You're gonna need this number. So either you copy it down somewhere or you just leave this window open and do this. Uh, the next one you're gonna need is the one called IPv4 default gateway, which also has probably the same number as the IPv4 address, but without some of the, you know, with some of the numbers missing at the end. So you're gonna need these two numbers here. Now that we have these, we're gonna go ahead and open up our internet browser. And we actually need to go to this website first, which is a website Steam made, or like a, a thing Steam made, where you can actually go in and see what the required ports are for Steam. And don't start panicking. I know this may look confusing to you guys because it sure as hell does to me, okay? Um, you're gonna need these numbers, and I'm gonna tell you guys specifically which numbers we need in here and how we're gonna put them in, okay? So we need this window here, this uh, this internet page, and I will actually leave the link in the description if I did not mention that yet. Um, so go ahead and check the description of this video and get this link. Up in our browser, we're gonna open up a new window. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in the IP address, uh, not the IP address that you got uh, called IPv4 address, but the one called IPv4 default gateway. So you're gonna type in the, the, the gateway numbers that you got with the punctuation marks between them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say zoop and move this out of the way so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in my default 
gateway. And of course, I'm going to black this out for you guys because I don't want you guys to see this. <clears throat> Whoops. I'm a very slow typer, as you guys can see. And there we go. Now, when you type enter and access this place, what's going to happen is that you guys are probably going to be asked to do, yeah, like to type in a password and a username. Now, I already typed in my password and username, so I do not need to do this again. But you guys are going to be probably going to get asked for a username and a password. And after you're done typing that in, you're going to get to this place. Now, the username and password, the way you're going to get that is, well, if you know it already, it's great. Uh, you know the password for your router. Now, if you do not know the password for your router, you're going to have to call your internet provider and ask them. Or go to their website and somehow go to your settings and find out what these are. Um, now, if you call them, just tell them you need the, uh, the password and username to go into this dashboard where you can uh, forward a uh, port forward your router and they will give it to you, okay? So that is one really annoying thing you need to do in order to port forward. That is actually calling them and asking for this information. When you do that and you get access in here, you are going to get a dashboard that is probably very different from the one that I have here because you probably have a different internet con uh, provider than I do. Okay, but know this, you need to go to advanced settings or to port forward settings or whatever you have inside the dashboard because you will be able to port forward from this dashboard. So you just need to find it, okay? In my case, it's inside advanced settings. And then I have a little sub menu over here on the left side called forwarding. That is actually where I need to go. Now in here, we need to type in the information we found from Steam. And of course, you know, if you guys have never done this before, you might not know how to do this, just like I did not know how to do this. I'm gonna show you guys what you need to put in. First of all, down here in my case, where it says known rule adder, you guys might have a different, but you should have a place where you can type in the local IP address and stuff like that. With the local IP address, there's gonna be two of them. There's gonna be one up here, there's gonna be one down here, in my case at least. You're gonna type in the IP address you got from when we went, in, went into the control panel, and you need to go to the one not called the default gateway, but the one called IPv4 address, and the number that is typically the same as the one you typed in up here, but just a little bit longer, okay? You're gonna type that in in your local IP address, and also down here in the bottom, where you have another local IP address. I'm not gonna type it in for you guys, because I do not want to black out more than I need to. After you've done this, the next one is called external IP address. Now, you can choose to just leave this as 0 .0 .0 .0 .0. Or if you only want one specific friend or one specific computer to be able to join you in your game, you need to type in their IP address. Now, as a default, I'm, I'm just gonna leave this as whatever it is right now, because you know why not just have anyone be able to join you if you wanna play with them. So I'm just gonna leave this uh, like this for now. Then what says service name, as a default, I have something called AIM talk, and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at this. I want to note though, that if your port forwarding does not work, you can actually click in here and go down where it says Steam Games. And you're probably gonna want to choose the one called 27,000, okay, and use that one. But for default, I was told not to change this one, so I'm not gonna change this one. Down here where it says local IP address, we typed in the IP address the second time. Underneath here, it says local start port. Now, this is where we need to go into our Steam place here, because as you guys can see, it actually says uh, UDP 27,000 to 27,015 inclusive. That's the game client traffic, okay? That's the one we need. So 27,000 and 27,015. So we go in here and where it says local start port, I'm gonna say 27,000. Where it says local end port, you're gonna say 27,015, okay? Down here where it says external IP, you're just gonna leave that one blank. You're gonna leave that one at 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0, okay? Down here where it says external start port, you need to type in the same numbers that we did above. So the external start port will be 27,000. External end port will be 27,015. Down here where it says protocol, again, if you go look at the, the you know required Steam client ports, you can see that the one we chose with the 27,000 and 27,015, it says UDP, not TCP. It says UDP. So when we go in here, we change it from TCP to UDP, okay? 
Underneath here, I have a description. You guys are just gonna say whatever you feel like. If you do have a description option inside your dashboard, you could call it Steam or something like that. And underneath here where it says enabled, you need to put it on on. And now you click apply and it should work. When you've done this, it should port forward and you should actually have it saved in here somewhere. I do actually know where I have mine saved. Um, I have it in here somewhere where I can port forward. Um, but you shouldn't have it saved down. If you actually start up a game and try to join each other, the port forwarding should have worked. Okay. So I hope you guys find this useful. I hope this worked for you guys. If it did not work, I do not know what you need to do, but this is how I learned to port forward the old fashioned way, not using Hamachi or something like that, which is a, another way you can do it. Especially if you do Minecraft and you want to play Minecraft together, a lot of people use Hamachi. But some games like White Noise Online does not work with Hamachi. At least that's my experience with it. And we did actually need to know how to do this. So this is how you port forward. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like. And I hope to see you guys later. Bye.